Animation. Animation. Animate. Right? The word anima is the soul, is the spirit. So I am very much uh, a person who is, uh, in fact, my entire introduction to everything that I'm doing right now was actually through symbolism and through art in the earliest possible days. You know, there's many threads that lead you to a certain thing, but art and uh, art history was a big part of it. So I've always tried to, to see this information in a visual style. And so your work with the DVD and, and when I saw the work that you had done before we had met, I was going, oh, this guy's got it. You know, he's, he's on to what we're talking about here. He's got the words and he's got the, the information. He's got the data. But he is presenting it in a uh, graphic way with animation. And he's framing it. And this speaks to me loudly because there's a whole part of our mind, you see, that can dig what this is all about. That can, and also, I want this to be the way of the future because I'm interested in other people who've got these technical skills. I want other kids and other people who've got animations. You know, I'm bumping it into them all the time since we've done the DVD going, hey, we love that. You know, and I'm an animator, great. We've got to use these tools that are now being provided for us to, um, you know, come to this information in a right brain way as well as a left brain way. I mean, there's so much you could say on this, but it's absolutely fundamental, and that's why I believe in this particular documentary film style, because bringing the uh, imagery and the numerology and the rhythms and the music, you know, to, to bear is, is the spiritual way of delivering this. Otherwise, you know, it's, it's a different animal when you're just dealing with the words and the information. It's, it's not as good, it's not as hot, in my opinion. You see, again, uh, the trouble is that when you're making anything that's in the media, like a DVD or a film, um, so much of that is packaged under the heading of entertainment. And we have a Google, MySpace, you know, sort of YouTube generation now, in which people just surf all sorts of material out there. And that's great, I'm all for it. But there is a bit of a danger that people start thinking that, you know, entertain me. Give me more facts. Uh, my work is not about give, you know, continually entertaining you. It's about presenting teachers to you, great thinkers, people who sacrificed, people who lost, people who were jailed, you know, thinkers, teachers of the past, so that you get up and you go and research those people on the Internet you know, and in books form. You, know, you, you, you check out these incredible souls of light. These are the shining ones who cared about you and your spiritual development even when you didn't know anything about it. We're novices. We stand on the shoulders of giants. But, so even though, you know, we want to, I'm not ruling out entertainment, but this is about facts, this is about information, this is about seeing the world in a new way. And it's very important that you're not just, you know, going to the movies, where's my popcorn, you know, 